Drunk cooking with Scott. We're cooking. I'm drunk. I'm also Scott. I've got ice and a, te and a, and a shaker. That's what they call them, shakers. We have tequila because I'm wearing a sombrero. Some tequila in there. What else am I going to put in there? Are we making a margarita? Triple sec. Some Grandma and Yay. Some Grandma. You got to get Grandma in the mix. Like the Grandma. Pull a little heavier on the Grandma. After that, sweet and sour. After that, shake. We got some sliced oranges. One of these, I'm going to take around the rim of the glass. Set it back aside. Salt on a plate. Oranges in a glass. We got a uh, knife. I'll take the other little orange wedge down here. Orange top shelf grand marnier margarita. You want to really go fancy, you put a little orange peel, shred it in with your salt, but we ain't get that fucking crazy yet. All right, now we're drinking margaritas. Why we make drinking margaritas? Because I'm making tacos today. I'm making carne asada tacos today, to be exact. And uh, we got to start. Uh, a lot of salt. Got to start with uh, making a marinade. So we're gonna get started doing that. All right, so I'm gonna take, a, I got a flank steak here. Skirt steak is actually better because it's a little more marble, but you can use flank steak, that's what I have, and we're, that's what we're gonna do. We, we'll take a, you get a large freezer bag, get your flank steak, or your skirt steak preferably, drop it in. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna do about three cups of OJ, maybe four. Really, you just need enough that covers the, uh, covers the meat up. So here's two. I think that might really be enough for this. So what I'm gonna do after that is we're gonna hit with a teaspoon of pepper, just so you have the measurement. I know what a teaspoon looks like. Teaspoon of salt, I got that right here on a salt plate from the margarita. Then you're gonna go a little cumin, you want a tablespoon of cumin seed. So, Tablespoon of cumin seed. Last ingredient for your marinade. Juice of one whole lime, which I've cut into quarters. I've quartered this. Squeeze it with my bare hands. And I'll throw them in there. I'll just throw the whole rind and everything in there. It's all gonna sit. Um, that being said, this is gonna end up in the fridge after you squeeze all the air out of the bag. It's gonna be in there no less than four hours. If you could leave it in overnight, that's ideal. Uh, as much as two days, the longer in there, the better. How we can go over two days, though? Okay. Once this is done, we try to get all the air out as much as possible. Brush it up in there. So take your salt and your cumin and pepper, lime juice. I'm gonna throw this in the refrigerator. I'm gonna go drink a shit ton of margaritas. I'm gonna come back tonight. I'm gonna let you watch me be sloppy and make up these carne asada tacos for dinner. Cheers. All right, so what happened was I started drinking margaritas and uh, yeah, we need to come back last night. So it's the next day now in my filming session. Uh, I'm drinking again. The meat's marinated, it's ready, and I'm gonna start the fire on the stove. Charlie's Angel type music Sam put together the remix title. 
So yeah, I got the sombrero. I feel like I could be like. I feel like it could be like that. Okay. Um, meat. We got the meat. Like Arby's. We got the meat. Where's my tongs? Who's got the tongs? They don't ever ask that question, do they? <laughs> so, the tongs are here. We we'll get the meat. Oh yeah. It kind. It doesn't. Look, it doesn't look that great. I mean, the, the marinade. It doesn't. I mean, I, I'm not gonna say anything disgusting. Surprise, surprise. But uh, this is where we're sitting out on the meat. We're gonna get the. Uh, it's gonna be nice and hot. The thing is, you know, I was like making a lot of tacos yesterday. You guys didn't see that. Someone made the mistake. Put me in charge of creating a menu for a new bar and grill that's going in. I'm going to be a part of it, and uh, it's kind of exciting. We'll see, see if we can do this. We're doing uh, upscale taco truck theme out of the kitchen. So I've been trying out tacos all week, putting together a menu. Today we do the carne asada. So I'm going to go ahead and take the carne asada. I'm going to roll this sucker right over here. Go on, on the grill. You put it on the grill at home. I'm doing it here because I have to be able to prepare it on a flat iron in the restaurant I'm going to be working at. Um, I'm going to let that go, get, get both sides, get nice, maybe about medium, a little, just a hair past medium, and I'm going to take it off and let it cool, and we'll come back and show you what happens then. So I lost the fucking hat. It's gone. It's time to get this meat off the grill. All right, look at that baby. Well, flint steak. We're gonna take that over here. I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit. Once it cools down, once it cools down, we're going to uh, dice it up in small cube sized pieces. Uh, I'll start my tortilla, which I have a pan heating up for, and we'll throw a couple of pieces of this back in the grill. We're gonna start assembling this taco. Can't wait. Be back in a minute. All right, so we're gonna cut some meat. Had to get me a little refill there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it, you're gonna choose fairly small thin strips. Just like that. You can see it's still a little rare in the middle. That's okay. Because you know what? This is going. It's beef for one, so you could just eat it right now. But nonetheless, it's carne asada is what we're turning it into. We're gonna put it back in after it's diced up. We're gonna uh, get it in the skillet and heat it up some more. Cut it all this way. Then what you're gonna do is little sections here. I'll pull some away so it can be more controlled. Cut pieces that way. We're gonna do this all the way through. Nice little chunks. Now I'll continue doing that and not bore you with the rest of it and we'll get the taco going. All right, so the meat's cut up. This is what we're looking at. A bunch of little pieces like this. I'm gonna take so many of them, about like that. I'm gonna come back over here, we're gonna toss them in the skillet. Okay, so toss those in here, let them do their thing a little bit. You know what I'm gonna do? I got uh, white onion. Some white onion I'm gonna go ahead and roll with. Put that in there as well. That needs to mix in. Get that heated up. Over here I have a hot pan on this side and what I'm using is a white uh, a white corn tortilla. That's gonna get hot sitting there. We're gonna put that in here and let it let it heat up. Once these onions get sauteed in with the meat a little bit here, we'll put it together with the taco. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and the taco and the the taco. The meat and the onion are ready to go here. And uh, one of the things I'm going to do with it, other than that, come back over here. I'm going to plate it. And then what I have here is a little diced cilantro.
And I'm gonna give it a little uncooked onion as well. Just got the sauteed onion in there with the meat, but just for color, a little brightness, freshness, we have that. That's it. That is a flank steak cooked up after it's with the marinade. Uh, it tastes very much of orange juice and lime and cumin. It's fantastic. You got the fresh, you got sauteed onions, you got fresh onions, white onion, white corn tortilla. And since it's very hot, I'm going to hurt myself now. It's, it's the suffering, it's the pain, blood, sweat, and tears that I put into this job. But here we go. Carne asada taco, street taco. Hot, so hot. So good. Make it. Don't be lazy. Be fucking lazy. This shit's fire. Carne asada street tacos. Cheers, drunk cooking with Scott.